name's Ravi Felice. I am the chef and owner of Viaggio Ristorante in Wayne, New Jersey. My cooking style, what I always say is every chef is kind of a combination of where he or her came from. You pick up a lot of things from the chefs you work for, so your kind of end result is a combination of everyone who you came from. I've worked in Italian restaurants my whole life, so my style is definitely, you know, has that rustic style, but a little touch of modern from all my time spent in Michelin star restaurants. For this tasting menu, I wanted to feature not only some of my favorite ingredients, but some of the best ingredients out there coming in from Italy. So to start this tasting menu, I started off with prosciutto sandinelli. I chose to use it as a small bite, basically made a super elegant crostini. Just wanted to super thinly slice it, really nicely shingle it, and then we punch it out so that it lays perfectly flat on the crostini. This way it really highlights and shows the beauty of the sandinelli. We are topping it off with pears two ways. So the pears served fresh, and then the pears also serve as a caramelized gel. It's a great starting point for this tasting menu because it's super light and elegant. So the next bite I'm actually naming Rana Padano Crema, but it really is a Nikio ensalada where we basically take the Grana Padano, we turn it into a very velvety crema. We're basically taking heavy cream, reducing it, a little bit of creme fraiche, some fresh sea salt, and then just emulsifying the ground up padano into that. It gets to be a nice velvety, smooth consistency. We're putting that down in the bottom of the bowl, and then we're kind of building almost like a little jungle above that. We're using all radicchios coming in from Italy, Casalfranco, Teradivo, and Puntarelle. They're all being used fresh throughout the dish. They're getting dressed in a little uh, miso Calabrian crema, so it's basically a Japanese Italian Italian vinaigrette and then it's getting olive caramel. So I love the combination of the hearty radicchio and the grana padano because uh, the hearty, you know, super bitter radicchio is complemented by the thick, velvety, creamy grana padano. So for this prosciutto de sandinelli and delicata squash ensalada, we're using the prosciutto sandinelli raw, just super thinly sliced, and we're pairing it with some super fall ingredients. So we're doing roasted delicata squash with a little uh, fall spice paprika seasoning, a little bit of a chestnut crumble. Uh, we're also serving the delicata squash raw, and then we're doing pomegranate and sage jus. Basically take pomegranate molasses, fresh pomegranates, and sage, and that's gonna be used as the sauce across the top of the whole dish. So the next bite is a sformato, basically like an Italian egg custard. We're basically using grana padano to season that custard. We're also meeting with the grana padano a little bit of truffle. So we make a sformato using whole farm fresh eggs, a little bit of white truffle, black truffle, and some freshly grated grana padano. So after combining all the ingredients to form the sformato custard, basically cook it in a double boiler. We cool it down, we cut it, and then after cutting it, we're garnishing the top of the piece of sformato with freshly grated grana padano. We garnish this dish, a little porcini powder that we make here in house, and then we're finally finishing it off with a quail egg yolk and matsutake mushrooms. I really love this bite because it's, you know, right in the middle of the tasting menu. You're getting super rich, creamy grana padano dish with white truffles, black truffles, and it really shines visually as well. How I like to do my tasting menus is definitely progression with not only flavors, but kind of richness in dishes. For this pasta course, using prosciutto di parma, we made some house-made spaghetti. And we're making a ragu using literally just prosciutto di parma and cipollini onions. We deglaze with a little bit of balsamic. I really, really love this dish because I can vividly remember being in Italy and having a pasta that was literally just prosciutto and cipollinis. I think it really, really highlights the prosciutto di parma. Most people don't think of cooking with prosciutto, but I love flavors from the prosciutto di parma when you're cooking it and the aroma from it are like absolutely delicious. We just did a nice twirl of the spaghetti and then we're finishing it off with a little bit of the ragu, some fresh pickled white pearl onions, and then some fresh prosciutto di parma laid gently across the top.
So to complete this tasting menu, this is gonna kind of be the showstopper. I wanted to do a dry aged Ming Elisa and prosciutto de Parma Capoletti. So we get in some whole Ming Elisas that are raised just for us here at Viaggio. And we're using prosciutto de Parma together to braise. We're adding a little bit of Japanese flavors, Italian flavors in there. So you have white wine, thyme, pickled ginger, sesame. That's all gonna get braised for six hours after being braised. All of that stuff kind of gets whipped together. We make some fresh ravioli dough. After making the ravioli dough, we pipe the dry aged mangalisa and prosciutto de parma filling onto that dough. We're making a capoletti shape. It basically means cup. We're using the trim and the less commonly used parts of the prosciutto de parma to make prosciutto de parma brodo. We're also adding into that brodo pickled ginger and thyme. It's a three day process where we're basically boiling it with the prosciutto trimmings. Then finally for plate up, par cook the capoletti in water and then we actually finish cooking in the brodo itself so that it absorbs that flavor. We're topping it off with fresh scallions along with some fresh sliced pieces of prosciutto de parma, cotica, which is basically chicharron in Italian, and some fresh pickled ginger. Here at Viaggio and all my other restaurants and projects love using the best ingredient. So when I see this PDO stamp, I really know I'm using the best and I'm getting the best quality.